Hey there, it's your girl Rejoice Odage back here with your most anticipated E! News recap for the week. On the show today, we talk about the brewing drama between Femi Fanny Kayode and his estranged wife Precious, celebs' reactions to the death of the Doen College student Sylvester Oromoni, Nigeria's most influential woman according to the latest Forbes list, and more. So grab a drink and let's vibe. The issue of child custody and alleged abuse emerging between former minister Femi Fani Kayade and his estranged wife Precious Chikwendu opens our trends this week. The couple who got married in 2014 and now have four sons together had separated in August 2020 over allegations of emotional and physical abuse. In an interview with Chu Day, which aired on Channel's TV last weekend, the mother of four said since the separation, she has not been allowed to see or communicate with her children. Children. She also filed a suit over the matter in court on Tuesday where she made other shocking revelations including stating that Fanny Kayade suffered erectile dysfunction and as a result she was forced to remain celibate in the marriage. According to her, their four sons were conceived via artificial insemination and he never paid for her bride prize. Fanny Kayade responded in a statement on Thursday describing her comments as false. He also claimed she suffers from schizophrenia and bipolar disorders. The ex-beauty queen has, however, vowed to provide every possible evidence to fight her case. At number four, we join actress Iniedo in welcoming her newborn. Now, while this is supposed to be good news, some have criticized the actress for conceiving the child via surrogacy, stating that her decision to use a random sperm donor could be problematic for the child in future. Well, Iniedo has now cleared the air, insisting that the donor was not a random person, but regardless, that doesn't make him any more than a donor. She said she decided to take that path to fulfill her dreams of becoming a mother and therefore ask the public to allow she and her newborn some privacy. For the third time in a row, Davido is making it to our trends and this time we talk about him flaunting his new Rolls Royce Cullinan said to be worth 240 million naira. The pop star was spotted in a video shared by Cubana chief priest admiring the car in the company of other friends in Banana Island, Lagos. This comes days after his 29th birthday and days after he commenced the process of giving out 250 million naira to orphanages in Nigeria. Doesn't David Video always just find a way to be in the news. Winding down to number two, we celebrate Director General of the World Trade Organization Ungazi Okondre Weala and media mogul Mo Abudu, who have both emerged as two of the top 100 most powerful women by Forbes. The business magazine, which released the publication on Tuesday, placed Iweala at number 91 and Abudu at 98, making them the only Nigerians on the list this year. And our big story for the week is the painful death of Sylvester Aramoni, a 12-year-old student of Doen College in Lagos, just days to his birthday. The controversial circumstances of his death have so far sparked a lot of reactions, not just from the general public, but also from the entertainment community. While the debate over whether or not to enroll children in boarding schools has stayed on the front burner, many have also given their two cents about bullying and how it can be stamped out not only in schools, but in society. One of those who have lent their voice in demanding justice for Sylvester is actress Tonto DK. She also called on Lagosians to leave gifts and flowers at the gate of the school in protest of the incident. The school has now been shut and investigations are said to have commenced. Over to our movie tidbits, BBC Studios is now teaming up with Ebony Life Media to produce a heist thriller titled Reclaim. In the wake of the recent wave of repatriation of stolen artworks, the six-episode drama will tell a story about art thieves looking to return work stolen by the British Empire 125 years ago to Nigeria. Meanwhile, family drama Chief Daddy is set for its much-anticipated sequel, Chief Daddy 2, Going for Broke. In part one, the audience was taking on a journey of how family and friends scrambled for their share of fortune after a billionaire industrialist dropped dead. Now we get to see what happens afterwards. 
In music, Nigerian idol's judge Shay Shay has just released her latest body of work titled Big Girl. The 12 track album features Simi, Wande Ko, Yemi Alade, amongst others. Meanwhile, Timmy Dakolo has just dropped another love song and it is slowly but surely warming its way into our hearts. And that's all we have for you today. Do let us know if you enjoyed this and don't forget to hit us up with your own top moments for the week. You can also catch the full scoop on our website www.channelstv.com. See you same time next week.